All right, this morning in safety matters and really every morning should be about safety matters, especially when winter weather is in the forecast. And today we are sitting down with Sergeant Jay Riggins with the Vermont State Police to chat about some of the challenges that come along with winter driving. Jay, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. So my pleasure. we got our first kind of taste of some messy winter weather for Friday. Friday night was a mess on the road. Yes, Talk to me a little bit about, you know, the state police response to, you know, all of that. There's yeah. a lot of cars off the roads. Yeah, it was, you know, in, uh, in state police land, we call that a dress rehearsal okay. for what happens next. Because okay. cause really that was, that was a, 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 a a gentle event from yes. what we come to know in Vermont. Yes. Uh, it was well forecasted by our friends here at uh, Fox 44, ABC 22. <laughs> well done, Haley. Thank you. Uh, but uh, but uh, even though it was a gentle event, it was uh, created a lot of havoc, yeah. uh, which included over 130 crash events that, that just the state police alone responded to. Yeah. Um, uh, fortunately, there were no fatalities from those 136 events. Mm -hmm. uh, but every year we find ourselves in this position of people relearning that Ice is slippery, snow is cold, and let's be prepared. Yeah, and people need to slow down too. I saw so many folks that, you know, struggling to get up hills, probably didn't have their winter tires on. Oh, certainly. You know, the cu curiosity did not kill the cat. Mm -hmm. It was confidence. As the cat was driving down the road in, uh, in their uh, full SUV mm -hmm. with all-wheel drive, it was the confidence that yes. I can speed in these snowy conditions. It wasn't curiosity, what happens if I drive too fast? Mm. It's overconfidence. Mm -hmm. uh, it's overconfidence, uh, over relying on one's own abilities, over relying on equipment of a vehicle, mm -hmm. when really what we're talking about is uh, good tires, all working equipment, clear windshields, mm -hmm. and driving for the conditions. Mm -hmm. If nothing else, drive for the conditions. You know, on the screen here, we're looking at uh, bald tires yeah. on a crash from last winter. Yeah. Um, that's, that was the result. You know, fortunately, that person was okay, yeah. but never arrived at their destination. And their, a scary crash too. Yes, it does. You know, and and uh, not everyone needs to be uh, injured or killed during these events mm -hmm. to have these very really lasting traumas that they carry them through their life. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, unfortunately, a lot of it is avoidable. Mm. Uh, we, we don't see this stuff as random. Mm -hmm. If people are victimized uh, in crashes, I mean hit by others, mm. that type of carnage tends to be random. But mm. the, the drivers themselves who are causing these events, there's nothing random about that. Mm. Right? These are put into motion by you know, questionable decision making, yep. poor equipment on vehicles, not allowing ourselves enough time. We understand that once, once, the, once the human being becomes stressed, mm -hmm. that's when they start to take chances they wouldn't normally take chances. Yeah. So this is not the time of year to take chances. Nope. It's, nope. The, it's the holiday season, it's the good celebrations going on. Mm -hmm. So much other stress in the world right now. Don't add it with this rushing around in these bad conditions. Um, uh, taking chances when we wouldn't normally. I know, you know, speed, it doesn't matter whether you're going five, 10, 15 miles per hour faster, you're still going to get to your destination relatively the same time. So it's not worth it. You know, it's, it's, it's really fascinating, which is uh, common quarters in Vermont, Swanton mm -hmm. to Burlington, Burlington to Montpelier. Mm -hmm. These are both 35 miles each. Yep. If I drive 65 miles an hour over those 35 miles, I get there in uh, 32 minutes. But if I drive 80, yep. I get there in 26. Mm -hmm. So I save six minutes, but hold on a second. I'm not actually going 80 the whole time. Mm -hmm. I'm tailgating, I'm cutting off cars, yeah. I get caught in this, the stress, the cortisol that's released in our nervous system that <laughs> erodes our telomeres and our DNA. Right? Yep. All of this, and the way your day gets, gets, gets put into motion in this horrible, stressful way, mm -hmm. 80 actually saves no time at all. Mm -hmm. There was, oh, many years ago, a PSA, it was speeding gets you nowhere fast. Yeah. And we'll have more on that coming up in just a few minutes, but until then, we'll be right back.